it's two pro few games or adam and welcome back to another one of my top five videos today we are doing our second subscriber submitted top five and we're doing the top five easiest ways to die in cod zombies this epic top five idea was submitted by the one and the only Juggershaw. As you guys can see, it has almost 200 likes, so a lot of you wanted to see uh, this uh, top five. So here we are, top five easiest ways to die in COD Zombies, and everyone who has played Zombies, including myself, has died from something on this list, or dies from this stuff consistently, because I know that I do some really annoying things, but in Zombies, it's actually really, really easy to down by these five things you're about to see. Now, if you want to have a chance to have your comment featured just like Juggershot, go ahead and let me know what your top five idea is in the comment section below. If you see a comment that you like and you want me to do the top five, go ahead and drop that comment a thumbs up. I usually go to every top five and I get at least one or two comments, so there's a good chance if you get a lot of thumbs up, uh, I will definitely do your top five. Like always, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to drop the video a thumbs up. Our goal, like always, is going to be 3,000 likes. And of course, if you enjoy the top fives, guys, then make sure to subscribe. But besides that, let's go ahead and talk about some easy ways to die in COD Zombies. Now, before we get into our top five, there's one more thing I quickly want to mention. If anybody wants to help me out with your top fives, please follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description. I ask you guys on Twitter a lot what your opinion is on top fives that I do because you guys actually help me out a ton. You might not realize it, but you guys really, really help me out. Everyone on Twitter helps me out so much with these top fives. And this top five right here is pretty much like a joint effort. It was me and, of course, you guys on Twitter. Thank you so much. So, again, link is in the description to that but coming in at number five on my list I have the Gorod Krovi bomb step and this is one that I didn't have on my list originally then I asked you guys on Twitter and a lot of people were saying this right here now when Gorod first came out I died from this step way too much I was so bad at the GK Easter Egg, and I'm not gonna lie, the Gord Easter Egg is a very difficult Easter Egg, probably the hardest Easter Egg in Black Ops 3, and this bomb step, if you don't get it down, if you don't get it right, it's so easy to die and pretty much kill your entire team or solo, just blow up and die. It's a very, very tough step, and it's super, super easy to die doing this step right here. Now, a lot of people probably now have gotten better at with this step because all you have to do is just pause the game every time a new thing flashes on the screen. So it's not too bad finding the order, but for someone who maybe messes up or they're just, they just don't know what they're doing, you'll just insta-die doing this step right here. So coming in at number four on my list, I have the Origins Robot Foot. And I don't care if you're a good player or a bad player, you are going to die from this eventually if you play on Origins. Everyone dies from this. It's one of those just annoying things, you know, when you're trying to get the wind stash, trying to do the Easter egg, or you're just running around the map, and a robot just sometimes, it just steps on you. And it can be a little annoying, a little bit frustrating, especially especially in Black Ops 3 because the hit detection on the robot's foot is a bit sketchy in BO3. In BO2, it's fine. It's actually perfect. And when it first came out on BO3, it was horrible because sometimes you would shoot it and it wouldn't even open. Um, but now that the patch is out, it's a little bit better, but sometimes I still run into some issues where I do shoot it and I feel like it should open and it doesn't. But the majority of the deaths from the robot foot is getting, getting the wind staff or trying to the Easter egg or what I do a lot is I see the robot coming and I know he's gonna step right in front of me. I'm like, you know what? I can make it. I gotta run through and I'm good. And I run in there and I get stepped on and I die. And I know it's my fault, but that's how I die a lot of the time for the robot foot. And even if you're just running on the map, you're coming out of a tunnel, especially by Jug, you come out of the tunnel and he just steps on you. It's so easy to die from the robot's foot on Origins and everyone who plays this map dies from the feet a bunch. So coming in at number three on my list, a very, very popular answer on Twitter was, World at War knifing, and I couldn't agree more. Knifing on World at War zombies is literally a death trap. I actually have a nickname for the zombies in World at War. I like to call them gravity zombies or black holes. <laughs> because if you knife a zombie 
after round one, you literally get stuck to them. Like, they have this gravitational force, and they suck you in, and you just, you can't escape them. And it's so easy to die from knifing in World of War. If you are going to play World of War Zombies and you decide to knife, do not knife after round one. It's just one of those really, really frustrating things. I don't know how we dealt with this back in the day, because I didn't find, like, the whole knifing thing to be bad, bad when I played... You know, zombies back in the day, but now that I go back and play it, it is honestly Ooh. horrible. It just sucks that you get stuck on the zombies and you just can't escape them. You want to knife them and move back, but you just can't because they have that stupid gravitational force. I don't know what it is, but it's just really glitchy in World of War and knifing in that game is just the easiest way to die. So coming in Ooh. at number two on my list, I have the Mustang and Sally's. Now, I could probably just put all explosive weapons in the spot, but so many of you on Twitter were saying Mustang and Sally specifically, and if I think of one explosive weapon that I die from the most, it has to be the Mustang and Sally's. Now, in World of War, you can't really count that as having a, you know, Mustang and Sally's because it was just a single pistol, but in BO1 on Kino 5, then of course, uh, Duris, uh, you had the Sally's and you didn't have any PhD, so if you use it on those maps, you would often die, but honestly, people didn't really really use the Sally's until uh, Ascension because all the DLC maps had PhD and the Sally's were so good. The place that the Sally's kill you the most has to be Black Ops 2 Ooh. Zombies because at the beginning of the game, the Sally's were incredibly popular because Transit had a crappy jet gun, so no one wanted that one weapon. Then, of course, Nuketown, you didn't even have the Mark II back then when it first came out, so the Sally's was a very popular one to use along with uh, Town as well. Everyone used the Mustang and Sally's on those maps when the game first came out, and I killed myself so much with these weapons. And even today, I, when I play Town or, or Nuketown or Transit, I always down myself with the Sally's because they're so good, but no PhD Ooh. plus these weapons is a recipe for disaster. Now for Black Ops 3, sure, the Mustang and Sally's are kind of in BO3. You have the Bloodhounds on Shadows, uh, or the Ooh. Meat Wagon Sorry. You have the Death and Taxes, which is the upgraded MR6 uh, on the other maps. Then, of course, you have the Mustang and Sally's on the Chronicle maps. Now, in BO3, I feel like these weapons aren't really used all that much so it's not really that big of a problem in Black Ops 3, maybe in Chronicles because it's the OG Sally's, but honestly, the big issue with this weapon right here has to be in BO2 Zombies because I know everyone has used the Sally's in BO2 at some point. So before I reveal what's coming in at the number one spot, what I want you guys to do right now is I want you to pause the video and quickly guess what you guys think is going to be in the number one spot. I'm actually really curious to see how many of you get this right if you want to comment it go ahead or just pause it guess yourself and then watch the rest of it and see if you got it right so coming in at the number one spot on my list guys we have the black ops 2 two hit system and i cannot explain to you how many times i died from this if you watch my streams you guys know how much i rage in bo2 because of this two hit system and it's weird because world of war uh, black ops 1 and of course black ops 2 all have the two hits but for some reason in BO2, I think it's the zombies, they can windmill you. It is so frustrating dying in the early rounds because of this damn two-hit system. It is just so, so incredibly infuriating. Now, a huge reason why I think this is such an issue, especially right now, is because once you go and play Black Ops 3 that has the three-hit system and Treyarch, thank you so much for adding in that three-hit. When you come back to BO2, it is something you're just not used to. You don't have to be as focused in BO3 and especially when you have gobble gums and you come back to BO2 it is just a whole another world and it is just so easy to die in those early rounds on maps like Nuketown you know Mob of the Dead and Origins my gosh Origins you guys have no idea how many downs I've had in those early rounds turning on generators or turning on gen 4 for jug and then just getting randomly windmilled it's just so annoying you know a zombie 
comes up behind you, and you don't even have time to react. He hits you once, and by the time you're like, oh crap, this is something behind me, you're dead, game over. It's just so incredibly frustrating, and it definitely deserves that number one spot on my list. So there we have it, guys. Those are the five easiest ways to die in all of COD Zombies, and I gotta thank you guys again on Twitter for helping me out. My list, before I asked you guys, looked a lot different, and this list is definitely way, way better. So if you want to help me out with your top fives, guys, link is in the description to my Twitter account. And looking back on my list now, the, the one thing, or the the two things to say that really grind my gears the most is of course that BO2 to its system and honestly guys the World of War knifing if you have never played World of War Zombies give it a try and try just knifing only and you'll see how it's literally just impossible because the zombies are literally good I'm not kidding they are literally black holes and it's just so tough knifing and sometimes you just accidentally knife and it's game over because you just can't escape that zombie so guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe for a ton more top fives, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.